Hey all here OS Reviews, several months back we did a video review on the Caesar Aura. It was a smart scanner slash table lamp that sold for around $300 or so. It also uses some machine learning and machine vision to intelligently then parse through the image that you're looking at and transcribe it into text in addition to automatically crop the images that it's captured so that it's always aligned. Well now they have a new model called the Caesar Shine. It's considered to be a more light version and sells for $100 less at around $100. $199. It's also smaller in terms of its dimensions, making it take up less space on a desk. Still a very modern overall design, uh, almost seems like something that would belong in a modern art museum in terms of its really clean lines. It can still fold open and shut to save on space when not in use, and uses again that software that can automatically crop using the ML and machine vision software. And it also has a new video recording feature, which we didn't see on the Aura, that you can use to do quick lectures and to do some very quick presentations. The sensor for the camera is 8 megapixels, which I believe is a little bit lower than on the Aura, uh, which was around 12 or 13 megapixels, but still should give us plenty of detail to look at. So inside of the box itself, we have access to the software on your computer, user manual that's pretty well documented, the lamp itself, which is actually extremely compact and small, as you can see here, so it's really lightweight fabric, which is completely black, that you can roll out and place on a desk uh, for you to put the pages on for scanning in that helps the camera pick up the images more clearly. Finally, there's just the foot pedal, plugs into the camera and then sits on the floor, and then you simply tap on the foot pedal every time you want to do a scan, so that if you are turning the page of a book, you don't have to uh, use your hands, for example, to press a button on the camera or on your computer. So this kind of makes the process more seamless if you're rapidly scanning in lots of documents and your hands are occupied. A closer look at the lamp now, it is again very compact. Here's a tablet next to it, so you can see it's not very tall at all. Again, this part is constructed out of a polycarbonate plastic, looks very uh, sharp with its edges. We have the same kind of button dial design as on the Aura, which you can tap once to turn it on. Bottom here features rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on the surface or a desk. There is that USB port for plugging in the foot pedal for turning pages. And there's also the USB port for connecting to your computer. And then if we flip it over, we can kind of see this is where the document camera is and also two LED lights. So overall, still very clean and simple design. We can actually pull on this portion until it kind of locks into place here. We can now swivel the other arm out, like so, uh, to get kind of that more classic profile of a regular lamp. Here's what it looks like from the other side with the Caesar Aura logo printed on the stem here. Let's do a quick size comparison. So side by side, you can see how much smaller it is against the previous generation Aura. Although the previous generation model did have kind of a handle that you could use um, that this one now lacks. But now if we turn it over, we can see that the number of LEDs is also a little bit less compared to the previous generation model. So we have basically two bright LEDs on this uh, new one on the Shine versus on the Aura, which have kind of an array like this. One other feature that the new Shine is missing is going to be a small display built onto the arm, which gives you a quick visualization of what the camera is seeing. For that, you have to turn to the viewfinder on the computer with the companion app to see on the new model. Now, this is as bright as the lamp gets when turned on, so it's definitely not as bright as the Aura. In fact, I think if you don't have any light at all in the room, it might be a little too feeble to use as a regular desk lamp. So, in fact, if we turn everything off right now, we can see that text is still legible, but it's uh, not the brightest thing. Um, it's probably good enough if you are just trying to read something quickly and uh, you don't want to bother someone around you, but uh, if you're working for longer stretches of time, again, compared to a regular desk lamp like we have here on the left, uh, you can see kind of the difference there in brightness. And we can also get it more brighter again just by turning it up. So that's kind of the degree of customization that we have. Um, again, it's all powered using the USB port uh, on your computer, so that's probably the reason why there's not a ton of LEDs on here, just to be more energy efficient. So here's the software. It's pretty clean and very similar looking in terms of the UI as we saw last time. I can tap on scan and that will launch into the camera, so I can kind of wave here and you can see it starts to snap into focus a little bit and try and uh, detect again the shape of whatever it's scanning automatically. So that's part of the machine vision. Now I can also put a book right here and you can see that immediately it will now lock into place around the parameters of this book. So if you zoom in a little bit more you can see that the yellow 
edges here are very accurate and super fast in terms of uh, focusing on the object. We are able to change on the side here the color. So right now it's a flat piece of paper as opposed to a curved book when it's opened uh, or flat. So we can just tap on scan, for example, down below here, and it will then capture this image and we can see a thumbnail over on the left. Again, another way of capturing this would be using the foot pedal. You can press on it with your feet by standing up and then that will also capture the image. And we can see that the scan result is indeed a line perfectly uh, that can be easily read and looks quite professional. We can also tap below here if I want to start recording video. So this is a new feature that we didn't have previously. So on the side here, you can see a thumbnail of a video currently being recorded. I can also try now doing a curved book. So the center of the page is now aligned and let's tap on scan. It's captured as two separate images, which are going to be, again, cropped to be perfect rectangle, even though the page here is slightly curved at the edges. Finally, there's also that scan selected region function. So if I want to use that, I can tap on control plus mouse to select a certain area that I can then drag on the screen here in real time. So for example, this area I can drag on and then just have it capture only this particular portion and it will capture it as you can see there. The mode here also allows you to autofocus the camera if something is fuzzy, you can tap on it once to get a more focused result. Back onto this main dashboard, we can take a look at some of these images and we can edit it further, such as rotate the shot. Uh, we can also do things like crop it even more, adjust the color, and we can send it to our printer. Uh, we can also do things like try and convert it to text. And we can also export it as either a Word document, an Excel document, PDF, searchable PDF. So I can also tap and select on certain images together if I want to export all of these as kind of one collective PDF. And then I can, after selecting this, tap on the export key, or if I want to only export one page at a time or one document, um, I can just tap on that one individual one to edit or export. So that's more or less it for a hands-on review of the all-new Caesar Shine, another smart document scanner that uses some machine learning to automatically detect pages and edges, making the cropping and transcription process really easy. Again, it's a more portable and lightweight form factor, which still works as well as the Aura when it comes to the effectiveness of the scan pages. With that being said, it's not as effective as a standalone lamp, I'd say, just because the LEDs definitely don't get quite as bright. However, it also consumes less power. The software definitely is one of the most intuitive that I've ever come across as far as scanners are concerned. This has been another look at the Smart Desk Scanners, this one being the Caesar Shine.